we decided it was time to make the ultimate primitive woodworking tool something strong, effective, and completely unique. But when you're working primitive, sometimes first you gotta make a tool so that you can make a tool. And that's exactly what we gotta do today. Keep watching, you'll see what we're talking about. This is Wilderness Strong, Bushcraft Nature, Ethnobotany, and Wilderness Survival, not to mention primitive tools and lifestyle. If you are into all that like us, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see more videos like this. Now we've had this dream tool in mind, a woodworking tool that'll be effective, fun to work with, and make a great conversation piece. A tool inspired by nature's unchallenged king of woodworking. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, we know that first we gotta build a very specific tool to make such a tool possible. This is a rib bone from a tiny fawn that died after its mother was killed by some local coyotes. Now sad as that story is, wouldn't it be even more sad to just let its bones go to waste? Not to worry, we're about to put them to very good use. So here we're just cleaning up the bone with a stone scraper and some sandstone. And then to cut the end, we're gonna use a flint saw. We're using a coarse grade of sandstone to sharpen the end. As we do that, we gotta point out that even though this was a tiny deer, its rib bones are much stronger than most people would first think, in great part because of the rounded structure. Okay, we need to switch to a finer grade sandstone here as we finish the end of it. We're just experimenting a little with this cedar board, but we didn't specifically make this tool for woodworking. Rather, we made it so we can construct a tool that is specifically designed for that purpose. We left this tool long because the task we're gonna demand of it will require a bit of wear, dulling, several resharpenings. We really like the brown color on this bone, so we decided to leave it so that we can etch in a small design. Now, if you've been following our content for any length of time, you're probably wondering by now, okay, how are they gonna use stinging nettle for this project? And here's your answer. Putting a small lanyard on your tools makes it very convenient for putting your hand through when you want to temporarily use both hands. Also for hanging it up when it's not in use. It is no secret how much we revere stinging nettle, just like the natives that lived in the very places where we harvest our nettle from. Okay, we got it wrapped and tied on now, and we've sharpened up our tool, and it is ready to perform the task for which it was created. And why'd we choose a little snake design? In many ancient cultures, snakes represented wisdom, rebirth, transformation, healing, and power all of which are representative of our channel's mission and purpose. This was a pretty easy tool to make. Easy enough anyway that we decided to go ahead and make two of them. Now we are officially ready to begin constructing one very unique primitive tool. A tool that could be a game changer for our woodworking projects. A tool that we'll cover in depth in our next video. If you like what we're doing here, you can majorly support this channel by subscribing, hitting the thumbs up and leaving us a quick comment. If you choose to do those things, you will be responsible for more people having the chance to see the work we're doing. Thanks for watching.